A lot of y'all is miserable in the comments, like I, like as usual. But let me give y'all story time real quick. So basically, y'all see a lot of videos go around and... Wait, hold up. Basically, y'all seen a lot of videos go around and y'all trying to say that... All right, let me explain the story real quick. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick story time, right? And it's, it's crazy, so y'all gotta, really, gotta really listen. So I had this friend come over to my crib, right? And I'm thinking like, we cool. Like, long story short, we gonna give a gig, it's gonna be a crazy story time, so y'all just gotta really sit back and listen. Y'all cool? All right, cool. So I had this friend came over by the name of Keckle. My friend name is Keckle. I let my friend come over because if you go to college, you know that sometimes at certain colleges, you have to leave. Hey, Bene, um, you have to leave and you have to go back home or you either have to pay rent being on campus. So I had this friend, his name is Keckle. And the only reason why he came over here was because, you know, if one of my friends asked me if they could stay at my place and they welcomed me to their place while I needed it when, you know, I was in a situation, whether I wasn't homeless or nothing, but he was basically open arms to when I needed somewhere to stay when I had a situation happen at ATL. When, when, okay, so basically when the situation with the Naima thing where she pulled out the pume, me and Nick had to go somewhere else because we wasn't staying around Naima. So my friend said, oh, well, you can stay at my crib because, you know, I know y'all going through what y'all going through and y'all not from down here, da, da, da. So me and Nick stayed at his crib. So he was open arms, straight like that. So long story short, basically, Situation happened where as though he needed a place to stay. I'm like, yeah, sure, you can stay in my shit. Like, there's no problem. So I let my friend stay in my shit for the summer. He didn't pay no rent. He barely helped clean up. And he did not know, like, he was really taking up more space than the fuck he was supposed to. He overstayed his welcome, right? So all noted, all job. So basically, let me turn the comments off because I don't want nobody talking shit while I'm telling my story. Because y'all little bitches like to talk shit. I don't even know how to turn the comments off. How do you even do that? Oh. So, all right. Basically, I let my friend stay over my crib. Once I let my friend stay over my crib, right? He stayed over here for damn near four months. We... We was just vibing. We had fun. We went to Puerto Rico. We went to Six Flags. We just was doing normal shit that a friend would normally do with their friend. So, mind you, he's a little different from usual friends, so I didn't really judge him. I gave him a chance. So, with that being said, I let my friend stay over here. Once I let my friend stay over here, the end of his state about to occur. No, fuck that. We won't tell everything because, bitch, y'all got me fucked up. So, when we took our Puerto Rican trip, I knew that it was a red flag, right? We took a Puerto Rican trip, and I realized that every time I would ask him for something, it was always an issue. Like, for example, y'all know every time I go somewhere, I always get my hair done. So I get my braids done, right? And I ask my friend, I say, yo, can I use your swimming cap? He's like, no, I want to use my swimming cap. Mind you, his hair is out in an afro. So if I take my braids out and I'm in Puerto Rico and I'm about to get in water, it's like, why would you need a swimming cap if your hair is in an afro? Okay, to protect your hair from the sand. Cool, but as you being a friend, it's just like, damn, you couldn't be a little considerate and you knew that I was already saying that I needed a water, a, a swimming cap for when we go scuba diving. So he said, no, I left that be seen. I said, okay, cool. Then I just know how to move. So from the jump, I had asked him if he can hold this. Look, where the man, where the at? Cause bitch, y'all not about to keep, oh. So when we got to Puerto Rico, the first thing I asked him if he could hold in his bag because it was raining was these $2 fucking earplugs. I said, hey, can you hold these $2 earplugs? He said, no. I said, damn. All I wanted, like, okay. I said, it's okay. So I put them in my pocket, not even to try to argue. So we could just have a fun trip. Put them in my pocket. Once I put them in my pocket, I got into the Uber and it was an Indian guy driving. I'm like, damn, what the fuck is that smell? Something don't smell right. So here he go. You're accusing me? No. What are you trying to say? I stink? What? I, what? Why would I say you stinking? You just got finished being around me in the walk. The, the, okay. So I said, no, why would I be talking about you? Because I assumed that you were. Strike two. Uh, okay. So, cool. Once it was strike two, we ended up finding his friend. I guess he met his friend at his airport. Don't know how the fuck they met, but they became friends. He's a white boy. 
So white boy ended up meeting him at the airport. Once he met him at the airport, they became cool. Once they became cool, we was all in a we we was all underneath the understanding that we were all going to go out to have fun at the club. If you go to Puerto Rico, there's a whole strip. There's the um there's the the Tulum Club and there's the the basically I'm gonna say the Black People Club across the street. We went to the Black People Club. He went to the Tulum Club because he clearly act like he didn't want us around him and his white friend. So me and my friend late end up going to the Black People Club. He ends up leaving his white friend because we got introduced by him. He's giving me the stare as if he's embarrassed to be around me. So I'm like, yeah, like we just gonna go to the Black People Club because Tulum not really playing no good music. We gonna go and we gonna have fun at the Black People Club. Kekul, have fun with your friend. Just call us if you need us. Cool. He ditched his friend and he came over there with us and then started partying with us. I'm like, okay, strike three, that's give no strike four, that's giving real weird vibes. So, right, this will really put the icing on the cake. My phone. I was streaming. I said, hey, Kekul, since I can't stream no more, can you hold my phone in your bag while I get on scooters? Because he's the only one with like a, a actual side bag. He's like, no, I'm not being I'm not being responsible for nobody's stuff. You not know this, that, and the third. I'm just, he, he just giving me the whole rundown, basically saying no. So I'm looking at him now. And this time when I'm starting to peep the weird shit, I'm like, hmm, okay. It's cool. It's cool. Just really be patient. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Put the phone in my pocket. Put the GoPro in my other pocket. The, the, the Not the, the GoPro. The uh, tripod in my other pocket. Literally having these big ass pockets while riding scooters. Neek. Little Neek. Y'all know Little Neek, right? Little Neek's on a Puerto Rican trip with us. Little Neek said, hey, Kekul, can you pass me my phone out your bag? He said, oh, here, sure. I said, wait a motherfucking minute. Wait, something ain't adding the fuck up. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. You holding her phone, but I asked if you could hold my phone, and it was an issue, and you said no. But you hold a neat phone, and Neek just got her phone. So I'm just like, okay, now there's definitely an issue that I'm not well aware of. So something given very much jealousy, animosity, you got an issue with me, but you staying in my crib, you must be tired of me, I must be annoying you or something. Cool. So, in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, maybe I'm irritating to him. Cause you ever had that little cousin that keep asking you for stuff, but they really get annoying, and then you be like, damn, like, can you get off my top? But then it just be like, wait a second, bitch, we supposed to be cousins, why are you acting like that? Okay, but that's what it's definitely giving. I'm just like, okay, cool. But it wasn't really major stuff that I was asking him for. This would put the ice on the cake for me. We go and we basically go to the rainforest. He brings a portable charger and he comes in the room like, hey guys, I'm bringing a portable charger. If anyone needs it, make sure you let me know. Da -da -da -da. So we go to the damn rainforest. We all get from out the rainforest. I said, hey, Kekul, can I use the charger real quick? Kekul's like, I'm using it. Then put his phone on the charger when, I said, when he said that he's using it. I looked at this bitch like, do you want to get beat the... He uses a charger, but when he uses it, usually a friend would be like, oh, yeah, friend, you can use the charger. Thank you for the gifts. He'll be like, uh, a friend would be like, oh, yeah, you can use the charger. Uh, when my phone get on 20%, then you can use the charger. Like, you know, on some friend shit. This bitch used the charger until the end of the bus ride. An hour bus ride, went, so nobody else could use or touch their phone, but he was the only one that could sit right there and use the portable charger. We so thrilled, I'm so thrilled where I'm from. If my phone's on 100, and let me put y'all on game. If my phone's on 100, right, on my iPhone 15, you can charge your iPhone 15. No. You, you. Why is people calling me and they know I'm on live? Like I was saying, on the iPhone 15, if you don't know, you can charge um, the 13 by putting the uh, phone charger in the 15. So basically, basically, my other phone was dead, so I couldn't charge it. But basically, if you have a Seaport charger, the 13 charger will charge. Basically, the 13 will charge because of the iPhone 15. You never probably knew that, put you just on. So I had my Twitch phone. So I'm like, okay, all right, I'm going to just charge my Twitch phone. I'm going to just put my... Seaport thing in my, you know, Twitch phone and just let my 13 charge because that's the only way that I can get my phone to charge. So, cool. I approach him about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of your bullshit. You clearly have an issue. You clearly are moving funny. I'm not going to ask you for shit, so don't ask me for nothing. 
This will really piss me off. We go to the damn breakfast place in Puerto Rico. Now, look, I'm just giving y'all a rundown on everything. I'm going to the Puerto Rican place on... Uh, we, go, we we went to the breakfast place on, in Puerto Rico, I think, the next day. So, Kekul is like... Um, we all eating, we all do the division on the bill. You know how like you all get a, a, a big bill and we just can't put it on like multiple, we gotta just get one for real, for real. So we thought, okay, just put it on one bill. We'll just do the division, this, that, and the third. So we did the division from taxes. We did the division from drinks. We did everything from the dividing of who bought what, this, that, and a third. So the total ended up coming like the 150. Calcul remained in balance was like $60 because we all did the math perfectly. So Calcul, here go Calcul to the waitress. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, I want my own bill. I don't want to be on a bill with them. I said, Kekko, we just did the math. Like, you're on the same bill. Like, we literally just did the math. That's how much you owe because we just did the division from the taxes and stuff. I don't care. I just want my own bill. Like, I, I just want to be fine with my own bill. Like, who who really the fuck is you talking to? Like, that's that's... Like, you, you keep getting off. And it was the way he said it. Because everybody looked at me when he said it. Like, they knew that he was getting the fuck off. One thing about me is I, I would hate to be the one to ruin a fun trip. I would hate to be the one to ruin a fun trip. So, I, I've really kept my composure the whole time. Knowing that I had to go back home with this guy. So, right, this is what I did. I ignored it. I said, okay, fuck it. I said, alright. So... It was now this was the weird shit. We go to we still in Puerto Rico. We go to this beach that's like an hour away. The beach is like an hour away. Keku met these girls on the bus. So Keku started to hang out with them and act like he didn't know us. So I did it. Why does this person keep fucking okay? So I did it. Why does this person keep lying to me? Okay, I don't give a fuck. So basically, um, we did a we did a beach tour and basically Kekko met these random girls on the bus. He started hanging out with them, act like he didn't know us. And then I did an outfit check. I'm like, outfit check, neat. Tell me your outfit. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, Rico, tell me your outfit. Da -da -da -da. Lay, tell me your outfit. Da -da -da -da. Kekko, show me your outfit. Da -da -da. You know what this bitch started to do? Rolled his fucking eyes like, what? And did all that. I'm like, this bitch wanna get fucked up. This little white wannabe bitch wanna get fucked up. I'm tired of being nice. So cool. I approached him about it when we got back home, right? I, I, oh, the, the bill was $60. The, the bill was a flat 60. So we did our math right. So he did all that for nothing. Just to remind you on the bill. So as time goes by, we goes home, right? Kekko doesn't clean. Kekko doesn't really help around in the house. All he Now, this is a crazy thing. Kekko only cleans when I ask him if he can help me clean. If I'm staying at somebody's house, now just, just mark my words on this. Who is this keep lying to me? Oh, he getting the fuck on my nerves. So if I'm staying at somebody's crib, if I'm staying... Hello, brother. No! I'm sorry for crossing, no. brother. Please, one bar. I, no. am I need help for it to my family. No. Please, you only one. Last one. I have a three. Ch you did the same shit yesterday, and I gave you the same fucking answer me and shit okay so basically um long story short when we came back from the puerto rico trip keko stayed here for the remaining time he barely did nothing right when he would use my kitchen he would leave the kitchen dirty like it would have to been times where as i'm just like damn like you could have cleaned up after yourself while being in the kitchen like if i'm staying at somebody's crib and i'm not helping them pay no rent bills light electric none of like just nothing it's nothing else but for me to clean like, respectfully, I'm cleaning up your house every time something get dirty. I'm literally doing everything that I see that you're not capable of doing because I'm staying at your house for free. So he barely did anything. I had to ask Keckle to do certain shit. So it just was like low key questioning me because it's like, damn, bro, like why you can't help out with nothing? You're not really helping me with nothing. You just sitting here, you get, you letting the dog sit all up on my couch. And now he has a dog here as well. His dog name is Katia. So the dog is literally sitting up on my couch shedding like, now I got to get my whole couch shampoo. Let's just say that. 
So one day when I was when I went to ATL, right, I had asked Keckle. This is when I went to ATL the first time. I asked Keckle. I said, Keckle, can you find my streaming phone because I can't find it nowhere? So Keckle proceeds to look around my house and he finds the streaming phone. So when he shows me that he's like on FaceTime with me or whatever, and while finding my streaming phone, I realized these boots that I never seen him wear located in my bedroom. So I'm looking at the boots. I'm like, who the fuck boots is those? And why are you even sleeping in my room? So me being nice, me being nice and say anything, I let it slide as if the fuck I did not know. So I'm really, really being nice because I'm peeping certain stuff. And every time I did say something, the, the, the comments would be like, no shade. It just seems like my eyes trying to pick with Keckle. So I'm just letting it slide. I'm like, okay, I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not tripping. I never seen him with these boots, word. So come to find out, this is the real story. Now, this is where we get into the actual fucking tea. So long story short, I went to Nickelodeon. I treated my whole family to go to Nickelodeon for their birth, uh, for my little brother birthday, Frank. So we all go to Nickelodeon right there at, I think it's called Great Dreams Mall. So cool. We all go to Great, uh, great, uh, great, great Dreams Mall, whatever. So little Neek, this is where little Neek get involved. Neek told me that her cousin could get discounts on the tickets. So I'm like, hey, Neek, like, can, get, can your cousin give me a discount on the tickets? She's like, oh, yeah, of course. Let me call her. So Neek calls her cousin. We're all trying to figure out the way to pay for the tickets. So the only way that they could pay for the tickets was by logging into a PayPal account. So I let them log into my PayPal account and pay for the tickets. The tickets was paid. I end up getting an extra refund because we paid for a different ticket for the for the other side of the park. So they ended up giving us a refund on top of that. So we ended up getting our tickets. And I, you know, I'm not going to say what the hell I did, but I didn't even have to pay for all the tickets because of the way I you know, handled the situation. So cool. I couldn't get the confirmation card. I, mean, I couldn't get the confirmation um from the tickets because I didn't have the email logged into my phone. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably wondering like, okay, did you change the password from your PayPal? Da, 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 da. Yes, the password was changed. So neat cousin did not be able to go on my 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 um stuff and touch anything, any like it, it was no way that she could have did it because the password was changed. So cool. So I said, Keckle, let me FaceTime you real quick. Cause you know, I know game. So I, I said, Keckle, can you FaceTime me real quick? He's like, yeah, what's wrong? I said, Keckle, so this is what I need you to do. Flip the camera. He's like, okay. I need you to go to my gaming room. He said, okay, I need you to go in my tablet. I need you to go in my tablet and I need you to go in my email and give me the confirmation numbers that was just sent to Nickelodeon. He's like, okay, what's your password? I give him my password. He's, this is what he said that was a red flag. So your password is the, the, the. What? Why? Why is you asking what my like? Okay, I didn't say anything because I'm just like that's low key weird. So once I realized that he asked that question, I knew that it was some weird shit. So this is what I did. I put my I put my iPad on lost mode so that he couldn't get into it. But I'm like, of course that's not working because he gonna say on the phone, okay, your iPhone is ringing and this that and the third like. I mean, my, your tablet is ringing this that and the third like. Why do you even care if it's ringing? Just leave it where it is now. So I didn't end up getting the confirmation numbers only because the email was not logged into this tablet. I couldn't, the, the email address was not logged in. So I ended up finding another way to get the confirmation number. So over time passed, right? I went to the club. Now, this is when shit actually happens. I go to the club with my homeboy. My homeboy is like, yeah, Maj, pop out. You've been in the city. I ain't see you in a minute, bro. Come on. Slide outside with us. So I'm like, all right, cool, bro. So we end up going outside. I get a little intoxicated. And Keckle's back at the house. The only reason why I left the club early was because Keckle said, hey, I'm on my way back because Keckle was spending the night with a friend. So he's like, yeah, I'm on my way back. Um, and I don't know if you're home, but... Hopefully you're home. So I'm like, no, Keko, I'm not home, but thank you for warning me. I'm about to be on my way back to let you in the apartment. So he's like, okay, thank you. I appreciate it. So Keko takes my pictures because I'm a little intoxicated. I'm like, damn, I should never got drunk before I took the pictures, but can you take my pictures real quick? Keko's like, yeah, sure, I got you. So as Keko's taking my pictures at three o'clock in the morning, he must have thought, okay, since Maj is a little intoxicated, this is the way to make my move. So, all right, so basically, I went to sleep. When I went to sleep, somebody logged into my phone. Now, I know a lot of y'all are wondering, well, why didn't you change your password? Okay, 
if I'm letting a person stay at my house for four months, that must mean that I have somewhat trust being around them. You hear what I'm saying? Like, s fuck all the messy shit. L understand that I, my re my internet world is not my reality world. Like, when I'm off social media, y'all don't know what the hell I live through in real life. So fuck all the messy shit. Like, a kid will only think that I'm messy in real life as well. Just, just understand where I'm coming from. So... If I got you in my crib and I got you staying for four months, of course I would trust you. I wouldn't even think that you would go in my phone and, 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 okay. So he goes through my phone, right? And I guess he sent himself some money, sent himself $10,000. So this is how clever he did it. He went in my phone, sent the money to himself. And when he sent the money to himself, you know how you get the notification that like this happened on this day, like basically like this, like you'll get, you'll get. You'll, you'll get you'll get mad notifications of every day something happened. So he cleared the notification. He swiped it over for me not to see when I wake up in the morning. So I never realized that my money was missing. I'm like, I never realizing it. So cool. I realized that he started to spend a night at his other friend's house because he wasn't staying at my house anymore. So he ended up basically going to his other friend's house. So I'm like, okay, like, I'm not thinking like it's anything. I'm just like, okay, God, thank you. Like, you know, I can get some space now. I can, I can clean up. I can breathe. I can move. I can, you feel what I'm saying? I can, you feel me? So, cool. Okay. So, Keko ended up spending the night at his friend's house for the time remaining. When he spends the night at his friend's house, nothing told me to check my, you know, PayPal during that time until I got up on live yesterday. So I'm on live yesterday. And while I'm on live, you know how you order Uber Eats, and when you order Uber Eats, the sometimes it takes the transaction a little while to you know to proceed. So the transaction proceed proceeds. So as the transaction proceed proceeds, I can't talk right now because I'm so upset. But as the transaction proceeds, right? Basically, um, it said that I only had one thousand five hundred left. Hold up, y'all. Give me a second. So as it say that I only have one thousand five hundred left, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, wait. Where the fuck is my money at? So when you hear me say what I say, I'm like, I'm about to send my sister some money for her birthday because she just got finished sending me some money. So let me send her some money for her birthday and I love her so much. And you know, let me just show her some love on her birthday. So like, yeah, let me send Sandy the money. Da, 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 da. And I said, wait, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Like my mind is just like telling me no. Like, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? So when I realized that basically my money was gone, I'll go to a PayPal. I go to PayPal and I'm just looking like, wait, 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 so something's not right. How the fuck does somebody be able to send money to themselves? Because I know I did not do this. I did not do this. I would never send, I don't click links. I don't do none of that. Like I'm not the type of person to be that dumb to do all of that stuff. Who is this? Tell Janae y'all I'm talking real quick. It, it's a long story. So j tell Janae I'm gonna line her back once I'm done. Just give me a second. Let me show you the transaction. Okay, so let me let me flip it for y'all because I know it's gonna be backwards if I if I show y'all from the front way. Cause I, like, why in y'all honest mind would y'all ever think that I have to fake certain? Like, come on, bro. I would like I would be the last person to put any of my business out there. So look, let me show y'all. So here's the confirmation of basically um, the money being sent. So this is the money being sent to an account. Now, to me, my first instinct is that it was Jet. I'm like, Jet, the only person with my information to even get logged into anything that I have going on. So I'm like, Jet did this? Like, no, no, no. But then I gave Neek my information to log into my Nickelodeon, but then wait, Kekul was also near possession of my phone. So I'm like, okay, these are my three people right now. Like, what the fuck is going on? And two of them I trust the most, so I wouldn't even want to believe that they did anything like that to me. So we started playing investigation games. Long story short, I tell them the story on everything. I told them that I gave Neek my PayPal password to her cousin so that they could log in and basically pay for the tickets. I'm like, okay, Kekko was also near me during that night that the money went quote unquote missing. Jet, Jet has my information and he could do anything with it at any given time, but he can't no more. So this is the thing, I three suspects. So I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, Neek, let's check Neek first. 
let me look through all of my PayPal history and see if anybody logged in throughout the past months. Nobody logged in. Okay, let me check my email history and see if anybody logged in. Nobody logged in. So that's when my suspicions go down about Kekko and Neek because, no, Jet and Neek because, you know, if nobody logged into my PayPal, how was money being able to be sent? So when I realized that it couldn't have been Jet because Jet told me that it wasn't him and he did swear on it. And then Neek, I couldn't get a response from Neek because Neek was asleep. But I'm trusting Neek because me and Neek is like this. I know Neek wouldn't do no shit like that. I know Neek family wouldn't do no shit like that because we are like this. So my only suspicion is Kekko for a little bit, right? But it's really fighting everything into me not to believe that my friend that I just let stay in my crib would do some shit like that. So at the time, I'm just like, all right, cool. Let me think, 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 let me think. Let me think. So I just had got finished watching the movie Missing on Netflix. I'm like, this some missing shit. Like I really got to investigate and figure out who the fuck stole my money. Mind you, it's like 6,000 of us watching the live. 6,000 people's watching my live on Bego. So they're watching the live. And as we're watching, they're experiencing everything that I'm going through. Everything. We had people from the United Kingdom telling me how to do this. We had people from damn uh, 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 Turks Island telling us. We got people from everywhere watching right now, just telling us how to move with this. So the girl from the United Kingdom will come up on the live. She's like, oh, yeah, you could double click the right mouse if you have a Windows and all these key codes will pop up. Hopefully an IP address will pop up. Didn't work. So I ended up filing the dispute. When I, when I, defiled, when I filed the dispute, right, information popped up. The receiver's email popped up and three addresses popped up, but they removed the addresses as September 3rd. Like, wait, September 3rd? That's today. How would they know to remove the addresses? Okay, something's not right. Something's not right. How would they know to remove the addresses on September 3rd? My money went, I realized that my money went missing on September 3rd, literally just right now. So that was strike one. Now, this is what really blew everything to the, you know, to the extreme. Once we realized that, I texted the email because it's no better than just texting the email because it's like some people have their Gmail connected to their iCloud. So I text the Gmail, a random number pop up and call. Said, yo, why you text my email? Wait, why you text my email? Wait, bitch, the only email that I just text was the person that stole the money from me. Yeah, why you text my email? The only reason why I text your email was because the email that I texted was somebody that stole 10K, hung straight up on my face. Call back. A wife pick up. I'm talking to the wife. She's like, listen, this is not what we're going to do. We're going to have a civilized conversation. I said, okay, I'm grown. We could talk. I said, she said, okay, talk to me. What's going on? Because my, my husband told me that somebody said that they're basically, he stole 10K from somebody. I said, okay, listen, long story short, the email that is filed underneath the PayPal transaction is with your husband's email. So he stole my money. No, my husband would never do such a thing. He couldn't have stole no money. Let me explain to you what's going on. My cousin asked to borrow my G my PayPal account the other day. And we said, yeah, he can use it. I said, wait, your cousin? Who the hell is your cousin? She wouldn't give a name. So I'm thinking, okay, only people to think of is either Jet, because the cousins in them are from ATL. All scammers stay in ATL. Then it happened no much to more think that I still didn't think it was Kekul. So I said, cousin... Like, your, your cousin, your cousin telling you not to... Okay, so listen, this will really make things really hot. So as we're talking, she says that she works in a law firm. Law firm, law firm. Somebody told me that their cousin work in a law firm. I remember this. Somebody, somebody cousin told me that they work in a law firm. Okay, I'm still not believing that it's that person. So that's when she also said, you go to college? Oh, yeah, my cousin goes to college too. You may know him from college. Wait, huh? I know your cousin from college. She asked me that I go to college. I said, yeah, I go to Villanova. She said, wait, yeah, you may know him from college. I said, wait, cousin go to college. He can't be Jet. So this one, she really, really gave me the clue. I said, can you text your cousin to see who your cousin is? She said, yeah, I got you. My cousin is telling me, don't say anything. You're on live. Uh, 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 just hang up. Act like you completely don't know what's going on. Just hang up. Da -da -da -da. I said, wait, so your cousin's watching my live. Your cousin's in my live right now. What type of fucking scary shit is this? Something ain't right. So your cousin's in my live. So at first I'm like, wait, so is it a supporter? I said, wait, memory. Keckle told me that his cousin worked in a law firm. Keckle's in college. Keckle would be the only one accessible to the live because Neek is asleep and Jet don't know about Bigo. I said, so my culprit is Keckle. I said, you fucking dizzy bitch. 
He had me thinking that it was all these other people and the whole time it was you. It was you that stole the money and it was you, the person that I trust, that think that you were going to get away with what you got with. So basically he played these mind games. He's still saying I would never do such a thing. This is the second time you accused me. Why would you think that I stole your money and this, that, and the third? You really think that I would do such a thing and you had me in your house for all these months? da 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 So I'm just like, damn. Damn, ain't no way that he stole my money. So I started really putting the pieces together, right? This is when the supporters came in. Shout out to Maj Mob. Maj Mob came in with their detectives behind and they looked through Keckle's following. They looked up law firm. They happened to find a girl by the name of Diamond that looks and works for law firm. In her bio, it says law for law firm. They looked through her following and they looked up a Troy, a Troy Hardy. They looked up his profile because she was following him. Coming to find out, Troy Hardy is one of her relatives. So I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Keckle followed Diamond. Diamond followed Troy. This is a three-man connection type of going on now. Now this is crazy. Something ain't right. So I called Keckle. Keckle act like he's fake sleep as if you did not just stay over my house for four months. This is me calling Keckle. Hello? Yeah, Maj, what is going on? Yeah, wait, what? I what? I stole your money. Wait, whoa, what? I, I, Maj, are you serious right now? I said, Keckle, wake up. You ain't sleep. I hear it in your voice. Why are you playing with me like you're fake sleep? So I said, Keckle, FaceTime me. He FaceTime me. I said, share your screen right now. Show me everything that's happening in your activity. He acts like he don't know how to work an iPhone. He acts like he don't know how to screen share. I hear him. He said, oh, I'm type, I'm, I'm tapping the screen. I hear you texting. So he goes and he shows me his Instagram, right? He blocks the girl, the girl Diamond. He blocks her. I said, Diamond, I said, Keckle, why you got her blocked? He said, oh, because she was texting me crazy. Now, this is how you caught, he caught up in his lie. How she texting you crazy if it's an invitation that you got to send a message in order to be accepted in her DM? I said, now, this is what we're going to do. Go to the other Instagram. The other Instagram, she wasn't blocked. The other Instagram, it didn't say the same thing. So that means y'all had a conversation before. He deleted the messages. So I'm going to go to his call log. Nothing was there. I tell him to go to his PayPal transactions. Nothing was there. I said, Keko, so you really want to play this game with me right now? Like you think I'm slow. So this will really put the icing on the cake. Diamond has a brother, ATL rapper. Diamond brother, I made him go through his messages on Instagram. He has messages with Diamond Brother. He's like, oh yeah, this is just the ATL rapper that I know, da 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 Kaku, you don't know no ATL rapper. You don't even listen to rap music. Like, what you lying for? So he's sitting up here talking like, oh yeah, this is someone that I know, da 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 So I'm like, you was a motherfucking lie. So when I realized that he was lying, right, they found the girl's mom. They found basically all the girl's information. They found everybody. So they're reaching out to multiple relatives in the family. I get, a, I get a text from an auntie. An auntie's like, yeah, young man, what is going on? You're accusing my nephew for stealing this, that, and the third, da 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 I'm like, okay, this is somebody probably that I can have an actual conversation with because me and Diamond ended up getting into a bad argument. So I'm like, okay, maybe this is a conversation that I can have with the mom because she said that she's Diamond Mom. So while we're on the phone with Diamond Mom, Diamond Mom basically is like, yeah, this is too much. I have cancer. People are threatening my my residence. People are threatening my workplace and this, that, and the third. I don't have I don't have anything to do with this. This is not like Keckle. Why is Keckle doing this to me and the family? Da 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 da. Right. So Keckle put his family in some shit. So when she said that, I low key felt bad. But then she also said in the same token, my nephew was lying about everything. He stole the money because he just got off the phone with my daughter and he told my daughter and me not to say anything and this, that, and the third. So I said, wait, Keckle stole my money. She said, yes, Keckle stole your money. He has all the money right now. He has everything. I'm like, bro, 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 bro. So he stole all my money, right? He lied about it to my face. As me being somebody that I trusted him, I let him into my home. I even let you be a part of my family. I let you come around my family, my sisters, everybody. So Keckle even put up in my face and said, why would I do this? I'm even cool with your mom. You lied, bro. Lied. So here he goes. Once we get all the tea about everything, here he goes. Oh, yeah, Maj. 
can we have a conversation like a man? Don't end the live, end the live, end the live. I recorded the whole thing, but I'm not gonna let y'all listen to it only because I'm taking it up to higher, you know, people. I'm taking it up to the higher uh, people. So basically, I'm gonna give y'all those quick synopsis of what happened. He confessed. He confessed about everything. He confessed about what he did. So his reason on why stealing ten thousand dollars from me, y'all was because his dad stopped his credit cards and he needed to pay bills. So I'm just like, bro. As if I don't have bills to pay, pay and you only left me with one thousand five hundred. Like as if I don't have bills to pay. Now mind you, ten thousand dollars is a lot. But you won't. You, I would never be dumb just to only have ten k in my name. We're not going to do that. But just ten thousand dollars is a lot of money. So he's like, I have to. Have, I had bills I had to pay. My dad stopped my credit cards. I'm like, Keckle, you've been at my house for four months. Won't you be considerate and realize that I had bills I had to pay with no help included? Like, what do you mean you have bills you have to pay? So the cousin's not trying to give me my money back. She's telling me that I need to get it back in blood. She's all the way at ATL. I'm in Philly. It's nothing that I can really do. So the cousin has $7,000 left. Keckle already spent two. Keckle's like, oh, yeah, this, that. And the third that was really fucked up, y'all, is that I'm in Keckle's agency. So Keckle gets a percentage off of me. When, when Keckle gets a percentage off of me, if I get paid, Keckle gets a portion of what I get paid. Not exactly out of my check, but he gets somewhat something from me getting a high tier in his agency. So I'm like, yeah, Keckle, you're going to have to give me my 10K back. If I host on this month on Beagle, you're going to give me my full check on Beagle, including a portion that you get paid, and you're going to release me from your agency. Keckle's like, okay, that's a fair agreement. I understand it's okay. I understand it. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, bro, I gave him till 11 o'clock to give me my money. They telling me that I got to wait. They trying to tell me what the hell I got to do this, that, and the third to get my money back. I'm just like, bro, out of all the situations you stole from me, you only left me with 1500 You know that was from all the money that I made last month from content. What exactly are you thinking? A por portions of that came from the TikTok um, portions of that came from the TikTok subs, YouTube check, and also, um, 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 promos. So I'm just like, bro, like you stole the money that I worked hard for. And now on TikTok, I see people saying in the comments, that's what you get for your karma. You always talking about people like, and it's the crazy part. It, it, like, this is what kills me. The same bitches that are saying this is the same bitches that aren't even paid on my tax bracket. So you will never understand boss to boss how it ever feels to lose 10K because you never had 10K. That's the difference. So when y'all in the comments saying stuff like that, it really just sits back and really shocks me because y'all really want to see me hurt. Like genuinely. And if you watch what I do, I never want to see nobody hurt. I keep it the fuck real. That's the thing. Y'all genuinely want to see me hurt. Like as if I don't bleed like y'all. I don't sleep like y'all. I don't eat like y'all. And I don't use the bathroom like y'all. Nigga, I'm human. Like it really, really, it, it really surprised me that y'all honestly genuinely want to see me hurt. Like genuinely. So I seen some people saying that I was stealing. I seen some, no, I seen some people saying that this is fake. I seen some people saying that um, this is the karma that I get for being messy. This, that, and the third. Like, shut the fuck up with that messy shit. If you post your business on social media, I have every right to have an opinion about it. Nothing that they, anything that I tell y'all is never fucking confidential. I don't go around doing that. Literally, majority of the stuff that I talk about has already hit social media. Like, literally. And only thing that has been ever confidential was the situations with them girls being s aid. That's the only thing that I've ever, ever shared that's literally been confidential because the girls gave me permission to share it because they are afraid to share their story. So that's the only thing. Y'all bitches, is, I'm, you know, honestly, I have really lost it with y'all. Some of y'all are really sick in the head. And honestly, I can honestly understand because you are on my level, like on some real shit. So let's try to give Keko a call. We're going to try to give him a call. Your call has been...
So this is what they've been doing all day. Okay, Keko's not gonna answer. But if anybody goes to if anybody goes to Skinmore College in uh in uh, New York, please let me know. If you go to Skinmore College in New York, please let me know. And only reason why I know a lot of y'all is just like, well, I would have been up there to go do what I need to do to him. Da -da 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 -da. Only reason why I can't do it is because my license is suspended in New York. When I went to go get my passport, I ended up getting a ticket and I didn't know how to pay the ticket and I didn't know how to even, the stuff wasn't working. I didn't want the points, so I ended up submitting something so that I wouldn't get a suspended license. And all. Basically, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. They, they was confusing me. So my license is suspended in New York. So I can't really go up to New York to honestly even fix that because I'm, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't, I don't know how to do that. So um, I can't go up to New York to go do anything unless if I take a train. Um, then it's like with him, he's like, oh yeah, Maj, if I give you the money, can you just act like to your supporters that none of this happened? All of this is just for content, this, this, that, and the third. No, no. So I went up to the police district. They helped, they helped me a lot. The investigators couldn't find his real name because he lied about his real name too. His name was not what his name was. His name was never Con Corey Kong. It's like some cat, cat, Capraham, Cuttingham, Corey, some sh whatever his fucking name is. So... Um, basically, he lied about all of that. The detectives is just like, yeah, we're going our, we're going to try our best to do what we can do. This, that, and the third. But now it's like, I'm going to sue you and take you to Silver Court, too. Because you stole from me. You lied to me. You literally, you, you, you went into my phone while I was intoxicated to steal $10,000. Like, that's crazy. Like, really fucking crazy. So, let me turn the comments back on real quick. But, basically... That's everything that's happening. The cousin has the rest of the money. She's not trying to send me the money back. Um, and it's just like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. And it's like, damn, I really trusted you. Like, I trusted you into my house. I trusted you in my damn, like, my house is like my cousin. So you really got invited over here. And then it's just like crazy to me that you did that. And then y'all are playing these games as if though I am wrong, as if y'all did not take $10,000 from out my money. Nigga, you was plotting on doing what you did. And all y'all keep saying, like, little comments like lesson learned and this, that, and the third. Lesson can never be learned coming from a bitch like you because you don't have $10,000. So while you trying to be funny in the comments, you can't even make that. And if the hell you do, you'll be making that for five months and get timing. So while you trying to be funny, it's not funny. Like, really stop trying to be funny because we can go band for band right now, even though I lost 10K and still have more than you. Literally, like, regardless of the situation, is really not funny. I don't see anything funny. Um, and it's just like, what goes around comes around. That, that's why a lot of people like, oh, he's not mad enough for me. It's like, why even get more upset when it's like, it's already done? Like, I can't do nothing. I can't go all the way. Like, I can go all the way to ATL, find out who this lady is, this, that, and the third. I can do all of that. But it's just like. Somebody's really going to get hurt. Somebody's really going to get hurt. Kako, I have the recording of you confessing what you did. Y'all still playing these games. Y'all still fucking playing with me. Like, y'all really on, just on some weird shit. Like, I really don't know how else to explain it. So, it just, like, to me, it just goes to show, like, um, honestly, bro, I'm, I'm over it. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Every time I'm friends with somebody, they always do some fuck ass shit like this. And these are friends that I don't put on social. Like, these are friends in real life. These are no social media influencers. These are real life friends. So when you do shit like that, it just low-key be weird. Like, really weird. So, I, okay, a lot of y'all are wondering why I did not sweep the money. He took what I said in the past and said, oh, yeah, well, if you... Like, I, the reason why I couldn't... Send, like, basically, I told him something about PayPal and how it works. He sent the money for friends and uh, family. And if you send the money for friends and family, you can't get a refund. You can't get a refund if you send the money for friends and family on PayPal. So he basically sent the ass friends and family or whatever the case may have been. And that's how he got the money. So I know a lot of people are like, well, why don't you have the money in a real bank account? The money I just made from last month, all that money I made from last month. So 
the reason why I didn't put it in the bank account is because whenever I have content money just for content, I keep it in my PayPal because everything is just on one Haystar. So I just literally get all the money transferred to my PayPal. Everything gets transferred to my PayPal. It makes it so much easier just for it to be transferred because the routing number, they got to contact my bank and this, that, and the third. So everything just goes through PayPal because it says PayPal on there. So like, long story short, I basically got fucked over by a friend and um, even y'all screen recording and this, that, and the third, it's just so many people saying that's my karma, this, that, and the third. That don't really affect me, but it does because it just really hurts my feeling to see that y'all really want to see me hurt. Like, despite anything that I do, just to give y'all the tea, y'all really want to see me hurt. And it really just is crazy to me. So it's just like the passwords and everything has changed. All of that has changed. Um, hold up. Let me kick you. Honestly, that, that basically was the story that I had to share. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just over it. Like, I don't really know how else to feel about it. And then I got my, like, I got my friends watching and they think shit is funny. Not one bitch asked me, was I okay? Not one bitch said, my, do you need anything? Not one, like, not one, not one person Except for my supporters said mine's like, do you need some money? Do you need a cash app? Like, I know he just took what you had. Do you need anything? But everybody called me when they need something. Everybody called me when, they, when it's beneficial for them. Nobody, but nobody asked and checked up and said, yo, do you need anything? Do you, do you need a couple dollars? I know this just happened to you. Because if it was them, I would have did that for them. Like, on, and they know that. They know that. On some, like, on some real stuff. Despite me being messy, if you just take the time out to watch me and know me, you would know that with my kind heart, I would do that. Like on some real stuff. So it just really, this is a lesson learned to everybody. Watch who you call your friends. Watch who you call your friends. Because not everybody is for you. My supporters helped from start to finished. That's why I go off bet for them. Because they go off bet for me. Go off bet for me. Literally. Go off like when I say they st they found everything about the family. Without them, I probably wouldn't even have known who stole my money. Swear to you not. So the fact that people watching and just enjoying it for the entertainment instead of helping, like, oh, all right, friend, why you doing this? Let me call up to the college. Friend, why you doing this? Let me get some more information about PayPal. Da 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 da. This that and the third. I would have been there for you if it was for you, but you watching and you just thinking it's for entertainment and think just sit cool, like. And then I don't want to hear nobody say they don't know about the situation because 90% of my friends are located in my Discord. They'll be in that bitch if they're getting talked about. But when there's a situation with me, it's just like, y'all use it for y'all entertainment. But if it was for y'all, I'll be defending y'all on social media. I'll be backing y'all play. I'll be supporting y'all. I'll be posting y'all. I'll be reposting y'all pictures. I'll be cash apping y'all when y'all need to borrow something. I'll be doing this, that, that, and the third. Like, just be a friend. Because y'all say that I don't know how to be a friend, but these are people that I'm always being friends to. Like on some real shit. I go for the bet for my friends. I show up for all my friends' birthday. I buy bottles for my friends. I buy game systems for my friends. I do everything for my friends. I give my friends money. I do everything for my friends. I'm not going to say specific names, but just know I be there. So when it's a situation for me, y'all don't be there how I be there. I'm the type of friend of you having a bad day... Yeah, you okay? I seen that you was a little upset. Friend, let me treat you to some food. Go out and get you some eats. Do something with your friend. Like, you know, get your mind off of it. Like, if you need to FaceTime event to me, that's cool. Go do something. Go do something fun. Go do something fun. Nobody called me and had the same energy when it came to me. Like, nobody never has the energy when it comes to me. But I'm always there for other, other people. Always there, always there. Like, and I don't need nobody money. I don't need none of that because I know my supporters got me. But it's just like the fact that I call you a friend. These are people that I can't even get to really know because there's so many. People that I can't even get to really know because there's so many of them. And, and, I, and I really fucking do. So it's just like, Watch who you call your friends um, respectfully. I'm on some shit, whereas though 
I'm cool off everybody. I don't trust nobody no more. I think I'm too nice to everybody, like on some real shit. Like a per, a per, only a person would do that to a person that know that they are kind hearted. Like you would never in your life even buy, like this is what I'm saying. You must've really felt comfortable because you must've knew that with me, you feel like you can get over. And everybody would think like, why would you want to get over on my, she's messy, this, that, and the third. That's not my reality world. That's not who I live in, in the reality. I live a whole different lifestyle. Y'all don't know me. So what I'm telling y'all is that if you felt that comfortable, you must've knew that I really had a good heart. Like you must have knew that you really could get away and you thought that you can get away with it until I get on social media and I start talking about it because you know the supporters don't play about me. So it's just on some shit whereas though my eyes is open enough to the point whereas though anybody that think that this is karma, y'all think this shit is laughs and giggles, you broke. So of course you're not going to understand. Of course you're not going to even motherfucking you know, articulate what is going on because you never had 10K in your pocket, let alone you probably even haven't, you never had 5K. So you think shit like this is funny because you've never been on my level. You feel me? But to anybody that actually genuinely do care, I do appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Support y'all for life. Anything you need, just text me, call me, whatever the case may have been. Then come to find out, y'all, they leak personal information about me. Leak my personal information. How you in my crib and you leak where I stay? I didn't leak none of your information. I didn't leak your cousin's phone number. I didn't I didn't leak no phone numbers. I didn't leak your number. I didn't leak nothing that was personal. You leaked my address, bro. You leaked my address. And you know I'm barely home. You know I don't have nobody here with me. Like you leaked my address. Like crazy. So, um, like I said, his name is Cuttingham P. Corey or no Cuttingham P. Kong. He goes to Skinmore College. Um, and like long story short, bro, it's like I'm over it. Like I, I can't even be upset about it. Like what happened is what happened. There's no going back. I worked hard for that money. I, I I went and I traveled and did business in a place that I barely even felt comfortable doing business at to make that money. For you to just take it goes crazy. And you watched me work hard for that shit. You was a snake in my garden plotting on me the whole entire time. Plotting on me. Then he confessed that he had company over my house. Without asking me, without giving me a heads up, you had company over my house. And his boots was in my bedroom. You washed my sheets the next day when you laid in my bed because you told me. So now that I, like, when you think about all this stuff, it only leads down to one thing. You did something in my bed before I even did something in my bed. To the person that let you stay in a crib and was the nicest person to you on earth because people look at you differently. That should just go crazy. Like I question everybody when I have a personal friendship with them. Cause I don't know if they do it for views. I don't know what it is, but I try not to even put my real friends on messy mods, talk about them. Even if they are influencers, I give them the benefit of the doubt if I really look at you as a real friend. So the fact that everybody that I call the friend always do me dirty and then try to make it seem like I'm the one that's doing them dirty goes crazy, goes crazy. I lost all my friends on some shit that they did. And I could go in detail about everybody that did what they did. Everybody. I could go in detail about everybody. Everybody that did what they did and how they did me. Literally. But, I mean, I guess that's what, I guess that's what it is, man. I guess that's what it is. Misty didn't do no wrong to me. 
Misty actually been a good friend. Misty, Misty, and this is the crazy thing. When I was in ATL, Misty actually really helped my mental on some shit. Like, to the point where I'm not even trying to cry or nothing, but damn, fuck. Hold up. Hold up. Damn. Wait. I don't even do this. Why am I, like, doing this, bro? Wait. Hold up. Bro, what's... That shit just crazy to me, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. That shit... That shit crazy to me, bro. I'm not... It's like, damn, like, on some real shit, bro. All right, basically where I'm coming from, bro, on some real shit, it's like, I'm always there for everybody. I swear to God I am. That shit just, it's just crazy. I'm not, I'm not even an emotional person, bro. I swear to God I'm not. This, I swear to God I'm not. But that shit just go crazy to me, bro. The fact that you would do some shit like that to me, my friends finding it for entertainment, they think the shit cool, it, it just, it, it's, it's crazy, but it's cool, though, because I'm a shake back. Regardless of the situation, I'm a Libra. I'm always the type to go and get my money myself. That's cool. I don't ask for no handouts. I don't ask for nobody for nothing. I don't ask nobody for shit. That's cool. But I don't even want to talk about the situation no more, but this is just a lesson learned to everybody. Watch who you call your friends, bro. For real. Watch who you call your friends. Misty actually been a friend to me. I'm not going to lie. She's been checking on me all the time. Ask me if I need shit. I can hang around her. She'll. This is this is the crazy thing. This is the type of friend because y'all y'all judge Misty. Y'all don't know. Misty the type of friend whereas though, we go out to eat. She'll pay for my meal. Don't even say Maj. Send me the cash app back. You got money to pay me back? Like she not, she not the type of friend to do that. Cause I'm not the type of friend to do that. If I'm going out to eat and I got my phone out, double click that shit. Your food is paid for. I got you. On some shit. You feel me? So it's just like she's been the, the one to match the energy that I got outside of my supporters. You feel me? Out of the majority of my friends, I, even even Neek, Neek the same way. So my only thing about it is, bro, it's just like right now I'm on some shit where it's though I'm cool off everybody. I ain't going to lie. I'm cool off everybody. Um, watch who you call your friend. Don't trust nobody in your crib. It could be your cousin. Don't trust their ass, bro, because you never know if you're going to be in this predicament. You never know. But... um. Yeah, I ain't got really much to say no more, bro. I just, I'm about to get off on some shit and talk to my mom. So I'm going to get back. I'm going to get on Bego later. Just give me like 30 minutes, but I'm going to be back. But I said everything I had to say. So I'm going to keep y'all updated on some shit. <laughs>